Morning, Alex. As you can see by the really bad lighting, it is once again nighttime because I don't get out of class till six o'clock, and I couldn't really find anywhere to do this video early because it's raining all day. So as you can see, I've lost a lot of hair on top. I felt that spring is upon us. Flowers are popping up, and like all animals, I felt that it was time to lose the winter coat and bring on the spring. Um, even though I know that spring isn't actually for a very, very long time, I just, I want to get a jump on it. Um, and also I have a meeting on Friday. So Alex, I have a couple of projects. If you're interested, or if anybody out there in the internets uh, are interested, um, I would be happy to have any input you guys can give me, and on some of them I can even throw you some credits. The project one is for a class of mine. We're doing public health campaigns using social media, and I felt that since I'm basically an expert at doing YouTube videos by this point, we would do a couple of short PSAs that I could upload to YouTube and then promote via the Twitter account for the class. The campaign we're undertaking is to promote having well water tested in areas that either already have hydraulic fracturing going on, or to promote testing prior to hydraulic fracturing. And so the reason behind this is there's a lot of complaints that hydraulic fracturing is polluting well water. But there's no real way of proving that it's polluted the well water unless you have baseline data showing what the well water was like before hydraulic fracturing came in and what it's like after hydraulic fracturing has come in. Now let me just say, for the sake of this class, we're trying to maintain some form of neutrality. We're not opposed to hydraulic fracturing, we just want to make sure it's done in a safe way. This gets me back to the public service announcements. We're going to do a couple of short videos, probably about 20 to 30 seconds each, in the same style as the one in Scrubs. Um, I'll put a link to it right there. So what I would like is if anybody would like to come up with scripts for these, um, I would be happy to use those, edit it, and I'll give you credit when we post it online, maybe in a little YouTube sub thing. And basically we want to involve the lines like think before you frack and get tested. So the video could be in a way leading people to believe it's about getting tested for STDs, but at the very end switching it over to uh, getting tested before you have hydraulic fracturing come in. Um, that way it'll be humorous, and it'll be simple, and, and people might enjoy it. Now the other project I'm working on is a lot more complicated. Uh, as I've said numerous times before, I'm working with a super fund in Cottage Grove that's a mercury mine, and I'm trying to do a documentary type program on the history of the mine so that they can show it to kids and say, you know, this is what the mine is. This is what is going on, this is what everybody's talking about, this is how the mine came to be, this is how it became a super fun site, and some general information on that. And so I'd also like some help writing a script about the documentary. Now this one is of course a lot more in-depth because it's going to require research and knowledge about what the mine is. So again, Alex, or if anybody out there in internet land would like to be involved in that project, uh, that would be one that may actually be a feature length documentary. And who knows, if we get a lot of input on it and, uh, you know, we can put credits on it, and if it really turns out well, um, I don't actually know what they're going to do with it. Maybe they would broadcast it somewhere. That, that would be my hopes. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens. That's two of the projects I'm currently working on. A third one I'm working on is pertaining to careers in science, where I'll be interviewing a number of scientists about what it is they study, how they got into that career, um, and generally just discussing what it is a scientist does. And so the idea is we want to encourage kids to look at science as a potential career, especially minorities and women who are underrepresented in a lot of scientific fields. Now that one doesn't really have any sort of shareable content that anybody could really help me with at this point. Alex, I'm really excited to hear that everybody enjoyed Pantheon. I'm excited myself to get to try it sometime, and I love the idea of adding in religious practices from other cultures. Um, I do know there is one tribe that believes that you have seven souls, which I think is fascinating, um, and I would consider converting to whatever it is they do as far as religion. I was also thinking if you're talking like the Roman pantheon or the Greek pantheon where Zeus is always going around and impregnating people, um, that could be one of your cards like turn into the form of mist and impregnate one of your followers. That's what those Greek gods were always doing, just going around and impregnating everybody all willy-nilly. So at this point I honestly have no idea what it is I'm going to talk about on Friday. You talked about games um, and I feel like I should talk about games since that's kind of what we've been theming a lot of things about, um, but I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. I may actually end up talking about Cinnabar, which is the ore that you get mercury from in most instances, although that might be kind of boring, so I, I don't, I, I have no idea. So Alex, I will see you tomorrow, and on Friday I will be talking about something that will hopefully be interesting to somebody.